Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me. My email is still tmosso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out to me directly. I'm still tmosso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing a 2017 limited edition of 1,000 pieces in steel. And this actually harks back to a modern classic by Panerai, the 19. 1993 Mare Nostrum 5218-301A. That was the tribute to an even older chronograph created by the original Panerai company. Now the watch you see right here is a tribute specifically to the 90s model. So 42 millimeters in diameter, manual wind and ETA powered. It hews very close to its inspiration. Being steel, 42 millimeters in diameter, 12 millimeters thick and 53.6 millimeters from lug to lug. You can see that the straps are are held on firmly using screws and bars, and the spacing between the lugs is 22 millimeters. Taking the watch and throwing it on my wrist, the PAM 716 is a large timepiece being broad across the wrist at 53.6. It's got quite a wingspan, and because of the particular shape of the lugs, it actually wears larger as a 42 than a lot of the 44 and 45 millimeter radio mirror and luminor models. So although it's a 42, I really recommend you think of it as more of a 44 or even a 45, because that's definitely the Impression I'm getting. You can see the lugs are pushing right out to the edge of my wrist and from over the top, maybe even a little bit beyond. It is not thick, however. 12 millimeters is pretty slim for Panerai, and even though it has a very cylindrical and sheer flank, it should slide underneath cuffs. The watch comes with two straps and a screwdriver, so you can swap. And then, of course, we've got a little buckle that has the 1970s style Panerai OP logo on it. We have a case that is polished in profile and satinated on the case and lug hoods, as well as the top of the bezel. The the bezel, though it has a very sharp knurling, does not rotate, so don't mistake this for a rotating reference. This is a tachymeter scale, and calibrated to 280 units, if you are good with mental decimals, you can pretty easily use this to gauge speeds of everything from light aircraft to cars, even to boats. So it's quite useful when used in conjunction with the chronograph. The dial is a lovely matte blue anti-glare. You can see this very minimal camber to the crystal. This is a 1990s tribute, and that's about what you'd expect. There's an ecru coloration to the luminescent material designed to evoke the tritium of 1993 as it looks today on surviving 5218-301As. So this watch, of course, a tribute to that 90s watch, which would have had tritium. And if that tritium were still around today, it would look like this. But don't be deceived. The watch has plenty of luminescent material. You can see this is a no date, just like the original one was. You can see it says Mare Nostrum on the crown. Of course, that means our sea, as the Italians, especially in the Italian Navy, regarded the Mediterranean as Mare Nostrum. And it looks a lot like the chronograph that Panerai often bandies as a historic prototype of the Mare Nostrum series, but as Panerai itself is a bit of an unreliable narrator, I'm not going to review too much of their boilerplate on that. Just consider this a 90s tribute, and any historical relation it may have to combat-era Panerai watches would just be icing on the cake, but there are better experts on that topic than I. I am a historian of the modern watch, and the modern watch from the 90s would have included a combination of an ETA manual wind base with a Dubois de Praz chronograph module on top, and that's exactly what you get right here. Solid case back, you can see the Series T 2017 out of 1,000 individual numbered 50 meters of water resistance with a screw down crown if you put it on a different strap that's water tolerant you could swim on the surface with this it uses the same ETA 2801-2 with Dubois de Praz module as the 1990s watch manual wind with a 42 hour power reserve it has a COSC chronometer certification so it's a very high grade and vetted 4 hertz beat rate or 8 beats per second it has a vertical clutch. This is known as the caliber OP33 in Panerai speak. You can see that if I screw the crown out while the chrono's running and I pull it the chrono hand and the running second stop, we have a vertical clutch in the chronograph module. So the chronograph always starts without any jump or stagger. That's one of the advantages of a vertical clutch. And although it is a modular chronograph, nevertheless, the thin profile of the base movement ensures that this is still a pretty thin watch by Panerai standards. And it comes with a fun box set, including that strap tool, the second strap, and a tiny little model of the destroyer Durand de la Pen, named after a World War II 
presumably Panerai using Italian commando. That destroyer was the ship on which the original three Panerai watches, including the Mare Nostrum, were launched to the public in 1993. So the watch even has a fun boxed set, which is included with this example. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.